Hi there, Master Cruz from Master Organizing here, and I am actually a resident of Santa Clarita, and with the fires um, happening, I thought it would be a good idea to share with you how um, to be, be prepared, how to have your you know, important documents organized so that in an event of a um, natural uh, disaster uh, like a fire, you know where your documents are and how to um, obtain them and protect them. So I wanted to share with you today um, as a professional organizer how I organize my important documents um, and keep them safe and um, if the fire had reached my home I have a system in place of where to uh, obtain my documents and and leave my home if, if that was the situation. So let's take a look at um, how I do that. All right, so I keep my important documents in this fireproof safe here. Um, this is the actual safe. It's a handheld safe um, by Firefighter. <laughs> it uh, is no longer sold. I've had this um, piece for, I think, over 10 years um, to help keep my documents safe and organized. Um, it is something that's kept in my home. Um, and also growing up, I remember my parents having um, an attache case, they would call it the attache. It, was an, it, was, it, it held all of our important documents and uh, it was communicated with my family members where this attache, were, attache briefcase was in the event that you know, there was a fire or if, if anything hazardous would happen in our home, we knew where to obtain that case um, and leave the home if that was the situation. So. Here I want to show you, this is our um, safe, fireproof, waterproof safe. Um, it's hidden in a home that's communicated to both all the family members here. And let's take a look of what important documents that I have here. So first we have uh, the passports, my family passports enclosed here. I have um, some important um, jewelry that, um, you know, that, that's, come, that's part of my family history here. Uh, it's pretty important to me. And then we have all the different types of important documents that are kept in this safe. Um, so I'm just gonna go through each one here and it may be different for you. What I challenge for you to do today is, you know, if you haven't done this, acquire all of the important documents that you have and find out, you know, what it is um, that you need to keep um, in case of a fire or natural disaster. Um, sure you can, you know, scan these items, but it's also better to have uh, hard copies. Um, I know for cars, I was talking to a car dealer the other day, and he was saying that the car industry um, sometimes doesn't take um, scan copies, so you have to kind of keep all of the car documents together that are relevant or current in your life. So um, just this is what's going on in, in our lives. So uh, the TSP is, you know, a, a 401k uh, for when I was in the military, so that's something important that I need to keep. Um, we have our car titles in here, and um, they are all blocked <laughs> because I didn't want to show you, like, you know, this is, like, uh, important information, so I didn't want it to go out to the public, all of all that. But, um, they, you know, the information is back here. It's just covered by this yellow paper. Um, and then we have, you know, church papers, baptisms, confirmations, marriage um, papers, savings bonds, um, vaccinations. My husband and I are kind of older and older school, so our yellow cards and vaccinations are in this um, piece of uh, envelope here. And when we travel, you know, internationally, we have to take our vaccinations with us to show. Um, so usually I, I take this vaccination, you know, our yellow cards out and put it in this um, piece here and, and then with our um, passports to when we travel. Um, we have the marriage certificate, birth certificates of everyone and um, our children. Uh, we also have copies because sometimes our companies need copies. Our businesses need copies, so um, we have copies here. And then we have all of our Social Security cards, you know, the original Social Security cards, and we just keep copies elsewhere um, in the event that we need them. And then we have um, cash and extra credit cards back here as um, an extra piece there. And then on the very bottom, I have, we have our wedding ring um, 
kind of warranty and valuations of, of those items. Um, so I've organized them vertically here. I've used these envelopes from uh, the container store. They're the poly envelopes. And I just simply labeled them, you know, what each category was here. And, um, you know, it can be one thing where you throw everything in the safe, but this helps um, my husband and I find things easily when we need them. Um, especially, you know, with, with school coming up, we have all the papers that we need um, and can retrieve them right away. So in a way, it's kind of like a filing cabinet. Um, everything's vertical and this close, you know, closes and locks and, and is put away. I would really challenge you to try and again, obtain all the papers that are important, um, at least have them in one location so that in, and communicate with your family where they are located at so that, again, if a natural disaster comes, you can easily re retrieve them and um, take them with you uh, to a safer area. Um, let's see, also, if you are interested in finding out how to organize your papers in general, um, I do have an online paper boot camp, um, which is set to launch again this fall. If you're interested, I will set a link below on the bottom to um, you know get, get notified when you're interested in that. And um, if you're already part of the online paper bootcamp, um, there will be updates. Uh, because of the fire, some people had mentioned in the surveys that they want information on how to organize their important documents. So I'm showing you how I do mine here um, and be happy to share and teach you how to do that in your own home. So there you go. That is the safe. So I hope you guys enjoyed that um, and are a little bit more conscious today. You know, we never know when a natural uh, disaster would, ha would happen. And it's pretty scary when the Santa Clarita sand fire happened here. Um, but, you know, my family and I were pretty um, confident that we know where our documents are. So we're e easily able to retrieve them if we had to evacuate our home. Um, it's also good to think about, you know, when you're on the fence about keeping something, either your closet or in your home, another cool way to challenge yourself is to ask yourself, you know, if, if there was a fire, what are the items that you would grab right away? Those generally are the items that you would keep and everything else, you know, you can really just let go of. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope this inspires you to get your important documents, um, prepared for anything and I look forward to sharing more videos with you about how I keep my home organized. All right, if you have any more questions or concerns, um, do leave comments below and I'll be happy to uh, respond to them. So until next time, I will see you um, later. All right, have a good rest of the afternoon. Bye.